بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم 5090 نومبر 24 کوشچن پیپر 1 2 کوشچن 21 ٹو کوشچن 40 بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم کوشچن 21 ویکسینیشن ہیلپس ٹو کنٹرول دی اسپریڈ اف ٹرانسمیسبل ڈیزیزز دی ایم ایم آر ویکسین گیون ٹو یانگ چلڈرن پرووائڈز امیونٹی اگینسٹ اے ڈیزیز کالڈ میزلز گراف شوز دی پرسنٹیج اف دی پاپولیشن اف اے کنٹری ویکسینیٹڈ یوزنگ دی ایم ایم آر ویکسین اینڈ دی نمبر اف میزل کیسز اوور ٹائم So number of cases of measles we've got on this side and the percentage of uh, population vaccinated using the MMR vaccine. And then you have this key which you need to understand. So the percentage vaccinated is uh, the one which I'm going to color in green. So the percentage vaccinated is going down and then it's going up. From 2004, it's gone up. It's gone, it was more in 1998 than the percentage vaccination is decreasing and then increasing. <clears throat> Now, number of cases of measles is this one. Number of cases were less and then they've increased and then they've decreased and then they've increased again. So look at the graph very carefully. In 1998, the number of cases of measles were less. It went up a little, 99, 2000, 2001, they were less. And then suddenly, from 2001 to 2003, they've really gone up. Right? And then from 2003, then they've gone down again. This is the one which has gone down. And then from 2005, it's gone up very, up to... 2008. Now let's look at the question. Which statement matches the data? Now, how do you do this question? Very simple. You say, does the data tell me this? Does the data tell you read all the answers? And then see, does the data tell you this? So let's read the answers now. Each year, the percentage of the population vaccinated using the MMR vaccine decreases and the number of measles cases increases. Each year, the percentage vaccinated decreases. No, but this is increasing here. This is decreasing. But the number of cases is increasing here. So you see how this is now different then we say b now b is the correct answer the percentage of the population vaccine have decreased from 91 percent in 98 to 80 percent in 2004 this may have led to the increase in the number of measles from 2001 to 2003 this is the point here and then from 2005 onward here the number of measles cases decreased from 80 in 2003 no that's wrong And the MMR vaccine does not protection against measles because there's an increase in the vaccination rate from 2004 to 2000. And the number of measles cases increased from 2005 to 2008. No, that's not the case. Question number 22, a very direct question. The diagram shows the excretory system. Which row identifies the names of the labeled structures? So one is the kidney, two is the ureter, three is the bladder, and four is the urethra. So the answer is C. Then coming to question number 23. As a result of an accident in a factory, a small piece of metal entered the spinal cord of an engineer and severed the tissue at X. This is X. Severed the tissue, that means cut through here. And this is the dorsal root ganglion. So this is the sensory neuron. This is the sensory neuron, right? You must remember that the dorsal root ganglion is this bulge. So the diagram shows a section through a spinal cord in the neck at the point of the injury. A nervous pathway is also shown. Which outcome of the accident is possible? Loss of sensation in the head above the spinal cord injury. Loss of some sensation on the left side of the body, loss of sensation on the right side of the body, and some paralysis on the right side of the body. Now, as we can see that the sensory neuron has been cut, and this is the left side of the body. So, there has to be loss of sensation on the left side of the body. 
simple. It's on this side. They're showing you in the on the on the diagram. They're showing you this is the left side of the body. Question number twenty four. The diagram shows a section through the eye. Which two structures two structures focus light rays on the retina? Now we know it's definitely the lens. So it has to be R. It has to be R. So there's R here and R here. Now is it P or Q? What is Q? Q is the iris. That has nothing to do with that. So it has to be P and R. So 24, the answer is B. What is P? P is the cornea. And the cornea works like a lens and refracts light. Because as soon as it enters, it enters, its, uh, it touches the aqueous humor. So it had to be P and R. Question number 25, the diagram shows some of the endocrine glands of a human female. And we have one, two, three, and then we have four. Four is the ovaries, two is the adrenal glands, three is the pancreas, and one is the pituitary gland. So we've got which row matches the gland with the correct hormones. So what was four? Four does not produce insulin and adrenaline. Four is the ovaries. And it also does not produce follicle stimulating hormone, but that's produced by the pituitary. So it can only be estrogen. Right? So 25, the answer is B. Because one produces FSH, two is the adrenal gland produces adrenaline, and three pancreas produces insulin. And uh, ovaries produce estrogen. Question number 26. When the body temperature is too high, which process causes the body temperature to return to normal? Has to be secretion of sweat. The rest are all wrong. Contraction of hair erector muscle. That happens in cold temperature. Contraction of similar causing shivering is if, God forbid, you fall into ice cold water and you're skiing. And vasoconstriction of arterioles will reduce the blood supply to the skin. So that's only in a very cold condition. You enter the room and the room is very, very cold. So that's going to be vasoconstriction of arterioles. Question number 27. Some seedlings are grown in a dark, warm and humid environment. The tips of the growing shoots were cut and then replaced on one side of the shoot as shown. The shoots were then left to grow. So growing shoot, tip removed and then tip replaced. Which pattern of growth was then seen in the shoots? The shoots stopped growing, the shoots grew straight up, the shoots grew with a curve to the left. The shoots grew with a curve to the right. You see auxin is produced by the tip and if there's going to be a lot of auxin here because it's going to diffuse in from here, Right, so there's going to be more here. So here there is going to be more cell elongation. So the shoots with the growth to the right. Question number 28, which statements about meiosis are correct? Meiosis produce genetically identical. No, they don't. Meiosis produce haploid, yes. So that's why the answer is B, that meiosis does not produce identical nuclei. And uh, they do produce haploid nucleuses. Then coming on to question number 29, what is a feature of asexual reproduction in plants? What is a feature? It only needs one type of gamete. Asexual, there are no gametes. It requires two parents. No, it's used cell division by meiosis. No, it's used cell division by mitosis. Yes. So, the answer to 29 is D. Now, question number 30 is a little difficult and you need to read it very carefully. The seeds of some plants will not normally germinate until they have been in the soil for several months. Some seeds were collected from a plant of this type. Some students wanted to find out whether a chemical in the testa prevented germination. That's what they thought. The seeds were then divided into three groups. Each group of seeds was put into a shallow dish and covered with water. 
The lid that was used was loose fitting so that oxygen could reach the seeds. Group 1 were whole seeds. Group 2 were seeds from which the testa had been removed. And group 3 were seeds from which the testas had been removed, but the testas were placed separately in the dish, so they were still there. The testa is still there. And we were worried about the testa, that they find a chemical in the testa which prevented germination. So here there are no testa, but here the testa have been removed, but it is still there inside. And we said there might be a chemical. So he said only the seeds in group 2 germinated. So these only germinated. Group 2 in that which the testa is removed, they germinated. Now I said what would be the most biological, so the most logical extension of this experiment? Now you see the testa is the culprit. So what should we do with group 3? We should change the water of the seeds in group 3 every day to see if they germinate. Because maybe if there is a chemical and we change the water of the seeds, then that chemical is going to be washed away and that will germinate. So that's why the answer is A. Change the apparatus so that oxygen cannot reach the seeds. If the oxygen did not reach the seeds, then group 2 should not have germinated, but group, group 2 did germinate. Repeat the experiment at 7 different temperatures. We are not studying that. We are discussing the chemical produced by the testa. So this is wrong. Repeat the experiment using different species of seed. No, but we know that there are certain species which require a lot of time remaining in the soil and then they will germinate. That was given in the beginning of the question. It says, uh, will not normally germinate until they have been in the soil for several months. So you read the question, understand the question and then read the answers. Question number 31. The diagram shows the changes in thickness of the detus lining during one menstrual cycle. Now the lining is decreasing, so menstruation is taking place and then slowly the lining repairs and then it uh, remains thick for some time. And day 14 is the time of ovulation. What, wh when would the levels of progesterone and LH be the highest? No, LH is the highest on day 14. So if LH is highest on day 14, so this is the answer. So that's why the answer is B. And progesterone would be highest between 19 and 23. Question number 32. In the umbilical cord, the blood flowing from the fetus to the placenta and the umbilical artery have. Now, this is like the pulmonary artery and the pulmonary vein. So, it is deoxygenated blood, umbilical artery. So, higher concentration of carbon dioxide in the blood in the umbilical vein. That's why 32, the A, whether either you know it or not, umbilical cord. The vessels of the blood vessels are like the pulmonary artery which carries deoxygenated. I said this always the, is the, like the reverse. Usually arteries carry oxygenated blood. So the answer is A, 33. DNA is divided into sections called chromosome gene nuclei proteins. I mean some of it is all absolute rubbish. Genes. We have a chromosome, it's made up of DNA and then there are sections which are called genes. Gene for hair color, gene for blood group. Question number 34, a man and his wife have three children. The first two are both girls, one has blood group A. So there's one blood group A and one is blood group O. The children father has blood group B. So that means the father has to be BO. Because if the child is O, it gets an O from the mother and an O from the dad. So the children's father has, but then they, we only know that either there is an A group and there is an O group child. So then one parent has to be AO. So one is blood group A, one is blood group O, and we also know the father is blood group B, so it has to be a BO, and that's when they can have this. So. Now, what are the other possibilities? It can be an AO. It can be AB. It can be BO and OO. Now, what is the probability that child is a boy with blood group B? Now, B is a 25% chance. So, 50% of 25%. 0.125.
because there's a 50% chance of having a boy or a girl and there is a 25% chance of having a B group. So 50% of 25% is 0.125. Question number 35 is a weird question. Which outcome might farmers want to achieve by using artificial selection? Naturally, they would want an increased yield and less fertilizer use. So if the plant is in such which grows very rapidly and less needs less fertilizer, so that is their main outcome. Which outcome might farmers want to achieve by using artificial selection? So the answer is D. Then coming to question number 36, a single cell protein can be produced by growing a fungus in a fermenter. Why is it necessary for the fermenter to have a cooling unit? So basically in a fermenter, why do we have the cooling jacket? Is because there's so many microorganisms and here of course it's a fungus. So the fungus, there's so many, just like too many people in a room, the room gets very stuffy and hot. Because we're all at 37 degrees Celsius. So similarly, the fungus releases heat as it respires. Question number 37. In question number 37, the diagram shows the pyramid of energy for the following food chain. Grass, grasshopper, bluebird, a pyramid of energy shows the total quantity of energy stored in the biomass of organisms at each trophic level in the food chain per year. So bluebird 5,000, grasshopper 24,000 and grass 110,000. To one decimal place, what percentage of energy is transferred from the producer, from the producer to the, so 24,000 divided by 110,000 into 100, this is 21 point. 8181 but it said you have to do it to one decimal place so that is why the answer to 37 is d then it says which statements about the carbon cycle are correct burning wood and fossil fuel adds carbon dioxide to the atmosphere yes that is correct Decay and photosynthesis remove carbon dioxide. No, only photosynthesis remove carbon dioxide. Decay, in fact, produces carbon dioxide. Photosynthesis and respiration add carbon dioxide. No, photosynthesis removes carbon dioxide and respiration adds carbon dioxide. So that's why the answer is B, one only. Burning wood and fossil fuel add carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. Now question number 39. Aphids are small insects that feed on plants by sucking fluids from plant cells. The population of aphids feeding on a bean plant increases rapidly. Which row shows a combination of factors that explain this rapid growth? So naturally, the competition has to be less. And the food supply has to be high. Because their population is increasing. It says population of species feeding increases rapidly. So competition has to be low and the food supply has to be high. Then 40, a lake has been polluted by sewage. How will the water in the lake compare with unpolluted water? Water in the lake will contain a lot of bacteria. And nitrates will be more and oxygen will be less. More sewage means more nitrates means uh, more bacteria because there's more decomposing matter. And because the bacteria respire and use up the oxygen in the water, so the oxygen is going to be less. That's called the biochemical oxygen demand, BOD. That finishes this paper and thank you very much. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching.